So one of the things I love about the show is uh, sort of the contrast between your two characters because, you know, and there, you know, your character is very empathetic. So badass and exactly. Right? No, <laughs> <laughs> no, I was gonna say he's so empathetic uh, towards uh, uh, Peggy because of his injury, sort of putting him in a similar position to her. Whereas uh, Thompson feels like a truly good guy who also happens to be a product of his times mm -hmm. and thus from our standpoint can sort of act like a jerk at some points uh, particularly to Peggy and I was curious with particularly with Thompson had he been born in a different time do you think uh, what do you think he will have been like he's a product of his drive and of the time that he was uh, right. he, he is going to customize himself in his environment to get to the best and the top level that he can. So you ask if he would uh, behave differently in a different environment or a different time? Absolutely. Without, without a doubt, I know he would. And I think that you know, he's doing these things because he wants to be the best. And he feels like he knows the best way to get there. So he's more of a he plays his cards based upon his surroundings. Mm -hmm. And both of you play veterans uh, from the, the war in this series. And for each of you, how would you say uh, your, or your character's experiences in the war sort of shaped uh, who they are now? It's, it's an interesting thing to play somebody from, the, from this time because the men who went over and fought, as I've read, and that's all I can do is read, came back with, with such a, not only the battle scars, internal and external, but having seen the world. So they've seen this big world. They've been to Italy, they've been to the South Pacific, they've been all across Europe. And now they're home and they've, they had so much more of a consciousness of the world. So there was something about these guys that was very stoic and that was very, um, they'd been through it. They had been through the ringer. So I think that's the thing you think about. How do, how do I portray that in a way that's realistic, that this guy's, this guy's seen it a bunch? And you'll see how the war sculpted Jack later on. It's something that we get into. You know, he's, he's carrying a dark secret. Mm -hmm. And certainly, you know, for both of you guys, you have uh, very different relationships to Peggy uh, within the series. And while I mentioned, and Ver, uh, uh, Sousa, he's very uh, empathetic with her, for Thompson, is there, do you think there's anything that Peggy could sort of do to uh, earn more respect in Thompson's eyes? I, I don't want to give anything away, but do I think that there are always things that people can do to earn respect or to change the way that someone treats uh, one another? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And for both of you guys, what is it about your characters that has led them to the SSR and to the the jobs they're doing right now? Well, I think Daniel um, is dealing with uh, adjusting to life, not only now as a, as a veteran and dealing with his, his psychological war wounds, but also a very real uh, disability. So he's still trying to serve in the way that he can, and he's trying to figure it out. This is a guy who was a, a soldier, a very good soldier, who's now doing filing. So it doesn't, the suit doesn't fit super well. Um, but he's trying to serve his country. And Jack was a war hero. Jack came back and Jack wants to do whatever he can to serve his country and uh, continue to keep it safe. So he's gonna do whatever he can to move up to the top of uh, his department. You know, his vision is chief. His vision is, I mean, if he could, he'd be president. He, he just, that's, that's what he lives on. That's what he lives for. And the war was something that helped get him acclimated to this uh, environment. Can, can we start the uh, Thompson for President campaign right now? Yeah, I like that. Hashtag Thompson <laughs> for President. Thompson for Perfect. <laughs>